my little fly, that was much, much too close. Are you all right? Are you hurt at all? Oh, I should have known it was a bad idea to let you go outside the caves. I never dreamed they would attack so soon, but that's no excuse. You're so important to me, I should have been extra cautious. Shh, little fly, don't struggle. I'm carrying you away from danger. The gnolls have made their move. I'm afraid it's no longer safe for us in the caves. Our warriors are guarding the evacuation of the spider folk, but they'll have to fall back eventually. We're not suited for open combat like this, especially when numbers aren't on our side. Soon they'll have to retreat, and we must make sure we're gone by then. Hmm? I... Yes. You're right, little fly. I've been expecting this for some time. The gnolls started gathering at our borders a few weeks ago. I believe they were recruiting other tribes to help them. And I assumed negotiations would have taken far longer. Gnolls aren't known for their skills in diplomacy. Well... You didn't know because I made it clear to everyone that you weren't to be informed. I had intended for us to... Hey, Little Fly, where are you going? Come back! Little Fly? Little Fly! You won't be able to get away fast enough on your own. Please, let me carry you. From me? Why would you run from me? Little fly, we don't have time for games. Please, we can talk about this later. Just come with me for now. You're going to get lost. Even without gnolls approaching, the swamps are dangerous. Oh dear. Listen, I'm sure this is about me not telling you about the gnolls, right? I'm sorry. I'm sure this must feel like a breach of trust. But I had to... Oh, would you please stop? It's so hard to explain while I'm chasing you. <gasps> oh my, are you alright? Come here. Ah, don't struggle, please. <laughs> it's going to be alright. I know you're angry. Perhaps you have a right to be. But can you at least agree to be angry with me while we get to safety? You won't be doing yourself any favors by getting yourself killed. <sighs> Thank you, little fly. Now, I'm just going to wrap you up a little bit to make sure you're secure. It will be tricky, but I can do it in one move. Please hold still. Well, to be honest, yes. I'm afraid you might try to run again. But it will also help me to avoid dropping you as we run. There we are. Alright. Now, I suppose I owe you an explanation. So, as I said before, I knew about the gnolls since they first started gathering near our border. I guessed right away that they planned to attack. As soon as that was clear, I gave my guards orders not to bring the subject up around you. Yes, I know. I mean, if you had ever asked me directly, I, would, I wouldn't have lied about it. But it was a lie of omission. There's no denying that. Still... I hope I can convince you that I was acting entirely for your benefit. Let me ask you. What would you have done if I had told you about the gnolls? Exactly right. I was already arranging for us to evacuate silently. My hope was that we could get away before they knew we were gone. So we couldn't be followed. I don't want you to feel helpless. In fact... That's largely why I did things in this way. But there wasn't anything you could do, even if you had known. 
I decided it was better that you continue living peacefully, rather than adding unneeded stress. I... Perhaps you're right. I am treating you a bit like a child. I hope you don't... I hope you won't resent me for it. It's just... I know that by human standards, you're no longer a mere youth. Though still young. But spider folk live far longer than humans. I'm 212 years old. Myself. Not exactly in my springtime of youth, even by spider folk standards. But I'm far from an old maid. I've lived far, far longer than you. And experienced so much. A spiderling with your life experience would only just barely be learning to spin silk. Oh dear, I've upset you, haven't I? Well, I'll admit, perhaps I shouldn't be thinking of you as a spiderling. Humans are different. If I waited until you were an adult by spiderfolk standards to treat you like one, You'd only be a few decades from the end of your life. So, having said that, could you ever forgive me for keeping this from you? Once we're safe, I promise we can talk about what I should trust to you, and what you should trust to me. <sighs> Thank you, little fly. Now, Let's keep moving. I don't want to let those gnolls catch up. I must say, humans constantly surprise me with how passionately they react to some things. We spider folk aren't very quick to anger. You'd be hard pressed to find one who you could offend without meaning to. I think perhaps it's the patient predator in each of us to thank for that. But I'm not trying to call you unfair or irritable, dear. You see, we can also be prone to empathy and listlessness. I think that's a side effect. I'm actually considered rather excitable by my kind. You may get easily frustrated in comparison, but that's because you care deeply about things. I told you before about why I call you my little fly. In so many ways, you seem small and helpless. And yet, humans have great cities, even empires. Despite our superior strength, abilities, and even the wisdom born of centuries of experience, we remain in small colonies. I think we lack the passion, the spark that humans have. That spark isn't without drawbacks, of course. I can't ever forget how quick humans were to blame us and attack my first home all those years ago. Still, I respect it as one of the great strengths of your race. Perhaps you can share a little of that spark with us once we're settled in our new home. It would be wonderful if we could build up some defenses quickly. Even while fleeing in broad daylight, we plan to lose them. But I don't want to rely on that. Either way... I won't let them lay so much as a finger on you. There's not a force in this world that could stop me from protecting you, dear little fly. You've made me so happy ever since you came into my life, and I'll do anything to defend you and your precious smile. I hope you'll always remember that, dearest. We've almost reached the edge of the swamp. There's a secure underground tunnel nearby that will take us the rest of the way to our safe haven. I'll keep you protected and happy there. You'll see.